Okay, Assalamualaikum adik-adik. This is Along from Advanced Kacang. Dalam video ni, Along akan ajar how to solve trigonometric function. Ni video yang kedua tau. Okay. So, jenis dia berbeza sikit. If you see this question, kita ada dua sign eh. Kita ada satu ni sign square. Satu lagi kita ada sign biasa. Okay. Soalan macam ni, korang tak perlu guna formula ke apa. You just... Uh, do an assumption. Okay, kita akan buat let let sin theta equal to m. Contohnya, it doesn't have to be m. It can be n. It can be p as long as constant tu belum digunakan dalam soalan ni. Alright. So tujuan kita buat assumption tu tadi so that kita boleh macam simplify sedikit lah. Okay, dia akan jadi 8m square equal to 3 plus 2m kan? Alright. So, bila kita tengok macam ni lagi jelas bahawa this is actually a quadratic equation. Cuma dia belum disusun. So, we'll move everything from the right to the left. Okay, kita akan buat ni lawa sikit. 2m square. Sorry, 8m square. Minus 2m minus 3 equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. Tekan calculator. You all akan dapat m equal to 3 over 4. Satu lagi korang akan dapat m equal to negative 1 over 2. Alright. Tujuan lalu tukar kepada fraction so that kita senang nak buat factorization kan. Macam... Reverse engineering sikit lah. Okay. So, 4 naik ke atas, you'll get 4m minus 3. For this one, 2 naik atas, so dia akan di 2m tambah 1. Okay. Ni topik form 4 lah. Eh. Long takkan ajar dalam uh, video ni. Alright. So, kita dah tahu bahawa m tu ada dua jawapan. So, kita kena solve both. Uh, of the solution tu eh. So, kita ubah balik. M tu jadi sin theta. So, sin theta equal to 3 per 4 is actually 0 0.75. Okay. And another one we have sin theta is equal to negative 0 0.5. Okay. Let's draw a line lagi. Alright. Okay, jom solvekan the first one ni. Sin theta is equal to positive. Dekat kuadran mana satu sin positif? Sin positif adalah positif dekat... Sorry, sin adalah positif dekat the first kuadran and the second kuadran. Okay, sini satu. Situ satu. Next, we're going to find the reference angle. Berapa reference angle ini? So, kita akan tekan... Calculator sine inverse ataupun arc sine 0.75. Bila korang tekan calculator ni, one more thing, make sure calculator dalam mode degree. Alright, degree, bila korang tekan, the answer will be 48.59. Okay, tu bawah reference angle tau. So, untuk answer sebelah kiri ni, Theta is actually equal to the first quadrant ni senang lah. The first quadrant ni kita just ambil theta. The second quadrant ni kita buat 180 minus theta. Okay, so the first one senang 48.59. Satu lagi, jangan eh, lalu tekan calculator je. You'll get 131. 131.41. Okay, so kita ada dua lagi solution dalam tu. Okay, next, the last one for the uh, yang kanan sekali ni. Yang kanan sekali ni, sin adalah negatif. Dekat kuadran manakah sin negatif? Dekat kuadran yang ke tiga dan ke empat. Just in case korang lupa eh. Kita ada add sugar to coffee. To standard cara orang hafal lah eh. So we have two reference angle dekat bawah ni. Dan satu lagi ingat. Reference angle always. Reference angle sentiasa dia melekat dekat x-axis. Ok. 
Okay, so let's find the reference angle. Reference angle adalah sin inverse ataupun arc sin 0.5. Kalau korang perasan kan, sini Alung tak ambil negatif tau. Okay, only when you want to find the reference angle, korang buangkan negatif. So here you'll get the reference angle is 30 degrees. Okay, so the answer will be theta equal to, alright. So the third quadrant, cari you all nak dapatkan jawapan adalah 180 plus theta. And quadrant yang last kali ni, 360 minus theta. Okay, so 30 plus 180 berapa? Uh, 210. And satu lagi kita ada 360 minus 30 kan? So the answer will be 330. Okay, so kita ada empat solution untuk uh, soalan ni. Alright, so that's it for this video. Jangan lupa like, comment dan subscribe and share this with your friends. Okay, bye. Thank you.